Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on a very specific topic, which is what is top K accuracy in machine learning when it comes to multi-class classification. And the reason why I'm recording this is more than five of you asked me for this. So I thought this is a trend. So let me just quickly record a very short video explaining this. Okay, so what is top K accuracy? First of all, when you print out accuracy or when you are tracking accuracy, you're basically saying, is this a cat? Okay, if the prediction is cat, fine. Is this a dog? If the prediction is dog, fine. So top one accuracy is basically, is my prediction the top prediction? Now top five accuracy is okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm okay if it's not the top one, but is it in the top five? Okay, so if I have like a dog and a pig and a camel and a few other things, and if uh, my prediction, if I have a, a dog image, and if the prediction is, I don't know, a fox, that's very close, but if the second one is a wolf and the third one is a dog, then we can say, okay, it's in the top five, right? So then I say that's accurate, okay? So top five accuracy is, is my prediction in the top five, okay? So, um, and this can be useful if you have multi-class classification, especially if you have, I don't know, 30, 40 different classifications and you wanna see, okay, is it in the top three or top five? So hence it's called top K. It's very easy to implement in uh, in uh, Python. So let's go back to our CIFAR data set and this is the one we uh, looked at quite a few times. So let me not go through this entire data set and I'll share this file with you anyway. So uh, this data set has 10 classes. So top five, maybe we should look at top three, but anyway, 10 classes, airplane, automobile, and everything. So let's go ahead and run these first few lines, which is again, just for plotting. I don't think we are even plotting here, so that's fine. Uh, if you wanna use dark background, that's okay. But the only thing I, uh, think you are probably not familiar with is this specific line, okay? And this is basically from keras.metrics. We are importing something called top K categorical accuracy, okay? And you can use this a couple of times, and a couple of ways, and let me show you. So let's go ahead and uh, do all of these. By the way, when you often see me in my videos selecting a snippet of code and then running it, and uh, some of you may run into issues saying that, hey, this is not, I can't read the image or something. Obviously, you have to make sure you're in the right directory, right? So I'm in the top uh, five accuracy folder, which is my right directory. Just a quick side note. Okay, let's go ahead and download our data. Again, you can apply this to any of your multi-class classification because it's easy to demonstrate this on CIFAR 10. It's already part of my keras.data sets. So let's go ahead and import it. When you run this line, it's going to download it. If it's the first time, it's going to download. It takes a few seconds and stores it into your Keras uh, uh, folder locally. And uh, it contains uh, training data, training labels, testing data, testing labels, okay? Now, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, normalize this because these are images and 8-bit images, so the values go from 0 to 255. So let's go ahead and normalize the values so they are all, uh, again, you can just divide them by 255, so that's fine. And uh, since this is classification, we are converting the labels to categorical. Again, I explained this many times in the past, so let's focus on the task here. The task here is understanding top K categorical accuracy. And uh, you can use these training images, but since it may take a lot of time during this video, I'm going to use uh, data generator so we can just generate only 100 images uh, at a time so the training is a bit faster and we can see exactly what's going on okay so i'm just uh, using uh, a data generator right there and here is where uh, you know here is how you can use top k categorical accuracy so uh, we are defining a function in this example i'm going to call this top five categorical accuracy and the inputs are going to be the true labels and the predicted labels, right? And uh, uh, what is it going to return when you call the function? It's going to return top K categorical accuracy applied on true and predicted with the K value equals to five. You can set this K value to three if you want top three accuracy, but you get the point here, I hope. So let's go ahead and run these two lines. And the next part is very similar. You can use uh, anything, uh, your own model. So let's go ahead and define our model. Of course, I'm using softmax activation because this is a multi-class classification. And we talked about this in many of our previous videos. So let's not get into the details. Now, one thing I almost skipped through, the important point is 
let me slide this all the way so you can see it very long line i should have actually um, zoomed out a bit but it's easy for you to see so the way you are going to call this during the training process is model.compile and remember as part of metrics, we normally put accuracy. In addition to that, you can put this function, top five categorical accuracy. So every time you're running this, uh, you know, uh, every batch, it's actually calculating accuracy. And in addition to that, it's also calculating this top five categorical accuracy. This is only and everything else, nothing to change there. So to apply this, all you have to do is add this function, obviously call the method you know from uh, from Keras up here and add this function and then just add whatever you call this you know the function name as part of your uh, metrics that's it so let's go ahead and run this so you can see exactly how the output looks like obviously if you think about it for our accuracy if my accuracy is low top five accuracy should be high I hope that makes sense because top one is lower so if you look down here my uh, accuracy is uh, about 19%, not good. Well, we, are, we just started with a batch of 100, uh, but accuracy is about 20%, but top five accuracy is 72%. That means 72% chance that whatever it's classifying is in the top five. Okay, so uh, now you know how to do this top K categorical. Again, I, I'm doing this because a few of you asked me, and if you have any such questions about how do we do something, you know, uh, please leave a note. If I know how to do it, I'll definitely uh, uh, record a quick video like this. So thank you very much. Again, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Remember, we changed the channel name from Python for Microscopist to Digital Srini because these type of things do not apply only for microscopy. They are for any field uh, you know where this this applies so thanks again please subscribe